Hello everyone and welcome to the Viperbyte Network. This evening we're going to be talking about EDC or Everyday Carry. Uh, what, the reason I decided to make this video was a few weeks ago I was uh, I work in an office in downtown Louisville and a few weeks ago I had to attend a meeting not at uh, my headquarters but at another headquarters and it was in a building that was uh, about 20, 25 stories tall, and this meeting happened to be on the 18th story. So, you know, I hadn't been in a building since 9-11 uh, 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 that had been that tall, and to be honest with you, it got me uh, thinking, you know, if something happened, do I really carry everything in my pocket that I might need to get out of a building like that, or maybe get out of downtown? Um, and my answer to that was no I didn't so I really beefed up my everyday carry um, and today we're gonna go over some of the things now like I said I work in an office so I cannot have items I would love to have all Maxpedition stuff strapped to my belt and everything but I really can't do that um, even though it's uh, business casual it's just uh, really doesn't uh, look appropriate for the uh, setting and the environment in which I work so uh, I'm going to have Missy scan over here first to, uh, you may have seen the video on uh, my get home bag, and this is a Maxpedition Mongo, and when Missy and I are traveling around the state and that sort of thing, um, this is a, a very well outfitted bag, um, weighs about 24 pounds, and uh, that's in my truck. Uh, now during the course of the week, if Missy will scan over just a little bit more, I have this uh, Magellan Outdoors little fanny pack with a shoulder strap on it and I keep that in my truck during the normal weekday and that weighs out at about 12 uh, pounds and it has uh, enough items in there for me to get home uh, here down the outskirts of the county which is about 14-15 miles so I could really do about two days uh, in there with that and I also have a video on that uh, and I'll put the links uh, to both of those reviews in the video but this is really talking about everyday carry uh, and like I said it's it's really uh, I've made it for folks uh, that you know work in an office there's so many everyday carry videos out there and yeah I'd love to be able to carry my LCP uh, in my pocket every day but I really can at work so and all kinds of things so this is really the bare minimum and uh, also for me to be a little bit gray man on some of the things that I am carrying so I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of this stuff uh, first off is just uh, a little thermos that I keep with me um, and I forgot that uh, we're trying out our new tripod so uh, I'm used to Missy just uh, moving the camera up and down so she just reminded me to keep it in the picture so this is just a thermos for coffee or tea that does quite well this is a uh, LA wallet as they call it it's leather um, and I got that from County Com uh, actually about a year ago and I really like this wallet it's thin it's got enough for your credit cards some cash your IDs uh, maybe some business cards if you want to put it in there I won't open that up and show you all my credit cards though sorry uh, of course I've got my keys like all of us would but uh, I am certified CPR and first aid I'm an actual uh, instructor um, with that and uh, so I do keep a uh, breathing uh, mask here uh, on my keys um, next is a Tool Logic SPBL2, I believe it is. I may have got the letters mixed up, but you can go to their website. And uh, this little multi tool or little uh, little survival tool that they have has a nice little LED flashlight on it. It has a emergency whistle. Okay. Uh, of course it has a uh, little liner lock knife this one is partial serrated blade so that's good for cutting rope and things of that nature like I said it is a liner lock some people don't like that um, in addition it when you pull that out has a little fire starter on it I thought that was pretty neat you can see the scratch marks here I did test it and you test it here by this little jimping is what they uh, recommend you use and of course it comes with a belt clip it is not ambidextrous on the belt clip but that's quite alright so so I keep that in my pocket 
Next, I'm not a rich man. This is just a Timex Classic uh, watch. Uh, it's got date, uh, regular time on it uh, with uh, Arabic uh, numerals, and it is uh, in the glow. And uh, it's just a bracelet type watch. I think is, it works real well. Um, I got gunmetal uh, color because I like that color. So should always have a bandana. You know the 30 uses for a bandana. One thing that's important, a couple things actually that's important when you get a bandana. First off, only buy uh, ones that are 100% cotton. And second, when you do buy them, make sure you wash them. And the reason being is because if you ever, if you have a brand new one that's never been washed, if you wash it, you'll see a lot of them leach, die. And uh, if you ever need to filter any water or anything like that, or even use it as a, a big compression bandage, um, you know, you don't want any of that getting in a wound, so always important. Uh, next, just a little Cabela's multi-tool. I have larger multi-tools, but this one here is just pretty simple. I actually carry it for the pliers more than anything. Um, but it's got a, uh, it's got a little can opener on it, a file. Actually a pretty good file and it's uh, got a couple of screwdrivers in it and a punch or an, an owl as you all would say right and then it's got the pliers it also has a little ruler inch on one side I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera and millimeters on the other or centimeters so that comes a little pouch I just keep that in my uh, pocket it's real lightweight doesn't print at all Okay, next is my holster for my cell phone. I carry my cell phone on my belt horizontally and uh, this is the leather. All, everything that I have is leather and not uh, the fake leather because uh, I wanted it leather for wear and tear. So, But this is uh, nice. got a magnetic closure, got a belt connector or you can slip it through the belt loops. That's what I usually do. And this one that I got, you can get pick these up on Amazon. You got to find out what size, uh, of course, what size your phone is. I have a Kia Sierra Duraforce, which I'll show you here in a second. But um, you know, you got to make sure you do the correct one. And then also, I've noticed this when I was looking for it uh, in Amazon, like in the big header, it'll say like leather phone holster. And then you start reading the fine print, and it'll call it, uh, you know. Fau or faux, uh, F F A U X, faux leather. Thank you, Missy. You're um, and that sort of thing. Um, so you want to make sure if, if you know you're going to have that, make sure it's leather. And then of course here's the uh, Kia Sierra Duraforce. It's a new phone that I got. I moved up from an iPhone 4, and then I had a flip phone for a while because, quite frankly, I'm getting a little sick of the uh, <coughs> size increase that they're doing iPhones are still pretty small. This one is. Fits in your hand real nice. Um, I might do a review on this Kia Sierra Duraforce, but what's nice about this is it's it's waterproof. It's shockproof. You can drop this from four feet and it's not going to crack. Um, but it also has noise canceling software in it. So any of you folks that might be watching this that maybe you don't work in an office but in a construction trade um, or even some folks in the military um, the Kia Sierra Duraforce is a pretty beefy uh, Android phone, so real nice. Not too heavy. I mean, it's a little heavier than an iPhone 4, but it fits in your hand nice, so it's not too big. All right, next. I do keep, and this is nothing but, and I ordered this on Amazon also, this is nothing but a 3x5 little leather coin purse, okay? And what I decided to make for this, because it doesn't print, it can fit in the front pocket of if I'm wearing jeans just running around town or if I'm in my, uh, you know, business pants, you know, like uh, dockers or something like that. This can, uh, it's not very obtrusive. It can fit in your front pocket. If you wanted to, you could put it in your back pocket But uh, uh, with that. But this is just a little first aid kit that I've created. Um, I'm not going to take everything out of here, but it's got the basics in there, different size band-aids, knuckle bandages, some uh, uh, antibacterial wipes, um, 
I've got some Advil in there. You, you know, the basics that uh, one might keep. Some Pepto-Bismol, things of that nature. Some burn gel. Um, it's, not, it's not a beefy first aid kit by any sort of imagination. Um, but it is, uh, you know, for the things that might happen when you're out and about town or whatever at the office. So that fits real nice, real light, does the trick. This last thing in my EDC carrier, and I'll show you what I have in this, and I got this on Amazon also, and it is also real leather. Of course, I got it black for business, is this little belt pouch. Um, and it's not very big. Um, I actually put it kind of on the front part of my belt um, with it. It's not uh, obtrusive. You know, I haven't had anybody ever ask me what this thing is or anything like that, but um, it's really nice. Like I said, it can fit on your belt. Um, it's got two compartments. I've got it packed up pretty tight, and it's things that I use. So, um, you know, you may not agree with what's in it, um, but let me just show you here how much stuff can actually fit in this. The first thing, though, I want to say is when you start, just like with anything that's on your belt, um, you know, this is soft leather, and if you start to weight this down quite a bit, it can start to kind of fold up like that when it's on your belt. So anything, if you put anything in here, I would recommend the heavy stuff goes closest to your belt on this inside pouch. And also, if you've got anything that's real stiff, like I do in here, that will help from that occurring. And then also to help out with that, because this belt loop is quite large, when I put it on my belt, what I do is I take this and pull it down so that my belt is actually ending right here and not in the middle, you know, the top part of my belt. And then that way it doesn't flop so much. But let's go ahead and I'll show you what I got in it. First off is a little, and you guys have seen these, um, they make different type ones. Uh, this happens to be one of those credit card multi-tools. Um, with that, this one has a magnifying glass and a little compass on it. Um, it's got a little screwdriver in it. You know, you've seen these, the basic little wrenches in there, a uh, little can opener, knife edge. Got a ruler on it. So you can see there. Okay, so that's in there. Also, in case I do have to walk home, there's a little love note from Missy. I keep that just for uh, keep that for uh, motivation purposes. Um, nobody in the comments asked for love notes from Missy. She's mine. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Can't have her. Um, here is some uh, tin foil. Um, you know, if I ever did have to walk home, uh, if I ever did have to walk home. Um, you know, this is good to, like, if I needed to create a fire, I can use this as a bed if the ground's wet. And then here's some right in the rain paper. All right. I smoke, so there's a pack of smokes in there, just an extra. Got an extra lighter. Just a real thin, cheap comb, nothing fancy. Just a little pen. And then, I don't know, if anybody here that works downtown, um, sometimes, uh, you know, you go to park somewhere for the meter, you got to run in for 20 minutes for the meter, so I just keep a buck worth of quarters in there. And if I ever did need to walk home and needed to, you know, grab a candy bar or something, you know, I could do that. That's about it in that in that pocket. But there was quite a bit to fit in there. And of course, if I didn't have you know my extra pack of smokes, I don't like to keep those in my shirt pocket. Like I said, where I work, and you know, in today's uh, world, uh, use of tobacco is really becoming taboo. So um, you know, it's just more appropriate for me to keep it you know hidden. All right, in this front pocket, this is one I usually get to most of the time. You have some chapstick. A microfiber towel, towel for uh, cleaning glasses, Nicorette gum, some sinus meds, 
and a little uh, small little Swiss Army knife. You guys have seen these small ones. They got a scissors on them, little knife, a file, little tweezers, uh, and a toothpick in it. So that's pretty good in there. And that's about it. It fits in that case. So that, uh, like I said, is uh, my everyday carry. And uh, if you uh, want any specifics about any of these items, um, just leave a note in the comments and uh, I'll try to uh, get the information uh, back to you uh, in the reply section there of the comments. But uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on a uh, office everyday carry or urban everyday carry. Please subscribe to the Viper Bite Network. There will be more videos coming out. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Have fun. Love life. Take care.